Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my day stock signals video for Monday the 28th of January. Today I'm chosen one of our signals from our stock signals membership. These are potential fifth waves long and short on the 60 minute the daily and the weekly time frame. I've chosen potential shorts today, uh, futures a little bit negative during this European session uh, for US futures. So uh, I've gone for a short on the 60 minute time frame. In our membership area, our members simply click on the date, which is the 28th for today, and they download the spreadsheet. They can choose by the long or short. So click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this for today. See at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you've got the tabs, the weekly, daily, and the 60 minute. We're concentrating on the 60 minute time frame today, 28th of Jan, and there's all these potential fifth wave moves to the downside. I've chosen one of those, KMX, Carmax, Inc., uh, to go through and set up. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, Multi Charts, and TradeStation. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're outside on this um, on this view here on the 60 minute time frame for KMX. We've had these previous highs, and now Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has identified the wave one, the two, the three, and the four. So, it's critical now how this wave four has behaved because we want to trade that high probability fifth wave move. So, we've got some tools uh, that allows us to do that. And we use those tools to just basically filter that um, stock signals uh, membership as well. So let's go through these. Uh, first of all, the wave force pulled back against the main bearish trend. It's found resistance in our green pullback zone. We've got green, amber, red. The green represents an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five low into our automated target zone there, around about $57. So uh, <clears throat> first of all, we've got a great wave four pullback. We found resistance. Uh, uh, in our green zone, also in our uh, special W5T EMA cloud as well, which is really cool. So we've got that linear uh, resistance zone with our Fibonacci, Fibonacci extensions and things like that for uh, for those green zones. But also we've got that EMA cloud acting as resistance as well. So really building up a strong picture there. So how that wave four has behaved? We look at the 535 oscillator, the first of the three sub charts down below here. So that pullback, as you can see, uh, has found um, we've moved into that 90 to 140 percent range, which is critical for this wave four. We need that to crown, start to move back down again in that range. Really good behavior of that wave four. Next is our stochastic. We've got a special stochastic here. False breakout. Bar at the bottom there, the yellow bar, you can see that denotes a really strong bearish trend. When we pull back against that and cross over in the overbought zone here, uh, there's a highly likely, you know, it's highly likely that we're going to get that move back down to get with that main trend again. So we're, we're building a picture of a high probability move to the downside here for KMX on the 60 minute time frame. Our multiple time frame dot cloud, which is part of our black box breakout indicator, which I'll, I combine both indicators on the same chart here, um, gives us the indication we've got a strong bearish trend. The cyan uh, means we've just gone into the cloud on this 60 minute time frame. And we, we use this to put see look at pullbacks on multiple time frames. Once this comes back down below the cloud, we'll go all red again, denoting really strong bearish trend. So, uh, so we've got that good picture. Let's get this trade set up. Uh, we've got to be reasonably conservative with the entry here. So uh, stop loss is simple. We go a few cents above the wave four. So 60.89 is a stop loss. Entry is below the 6.4 moving average low. The 6.4 moving average, the special moving average, the red moving average here for our uh, entry positions for shorts, but also below the low of um, Friday. So the low of Friday was 59.61. I want to be below that. I want to break that range from Friday. So 59.57 is my entry short for KMX on the 60 minute time frame. And the target's $57 into our automated target zone here. So great risk reward with that reasonably conservative entry of one to two. So good risk reward, good setup, everything's behaving well. Uh, we've got a bit of negative futures going uh, on at the moment. I mean, they could change uh, as we get closer to the to the session open for the US markets. But at this moment in time, this is setting up pretty good. If we go through 59.57, we've got a good short trade on KMX. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.